beach. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another one. Sorry about the wind. Uh, today, today is beautiful. Like it is gorgeous. It's, it's just cool enough that I can put on one of these long sleeve shirts and you know, just enjoy the weather. It's awesome. Uh, today though, as you can tell by the title and thumbnail, we are doing a snapping turtle catch clean cook. But he's been caught already for quite some time. Most of you guys already know that. Um, we're just getting around to the cook part today. Well, before we get out here, we gotta let let the horde out. All right, there you guys go. So they just come pouring out. <laughs> Straight to the watering hole. Gonna open this one up also just for good luck. Um, so, real quick, been having some issues with some predators. Not a good deal. Lost about a dozen birds so far. Uh, got suspicions on what it is, but not positive. But before we get too much further into today's video, I want to give a big shout out to Wing Home. Uh, they are sponsoring this video, and I really, really am pretty excited about it. Uh, they have a trail camera which I'm actually getting ready to go. I have it out looking over some stuff, so I'm gonna go pick it up real quick. Actually, I'll tell you more about them when I get there. Okay, so here is the camera they sent me. This is the Wing Home 630M trail camera. Uh, it is a weatherproof camera, actually. Well, high extreme. It's a, what is it, IP66, I believe, is a weatherproofing. Basically, it means it's non-submergible, but otherwise, you're pretty much covered. Uh, I haven't had any issues with it anyway. Um, right now, it is looking over this bone pile, and I just got here, it's got this nice little uh, LED screen here in the back, flip it on the setup here, see if we have any videos, ooh, whoa, ooh, okay, okay, we're gonna put these in here too, uh, so, this camera, let me turn it off a little bit. This camera, it has a Leica camera sensor. Um, I went and looked them up because I honestly don't know that much about it. It's a pretty good sensor. Um, it's German made, it's, it's pretty cool. Anyway, this camera has treated me really well so far. I haven't had to use it a whole lot yet. I've had it for about three weeks. Um, been playing around with it, getting used to it and stuff. Setup has been super easy. Um, it takes pretty good video, which you guys are gonna find out here in a little bit. Um, but big shout out to Wing Home for hooking me up and sponsoring this video. But real quick, we are gonna go ahead and swap out cards because I still wanna know what all is going on down here. Uh, so I, it only takes a 32 gig card, but honestly 32 gig is plenty of stuff. Um, I, had, I had to order in some special cards. I like to use these uh, SanDisk Ultras. Um, uh, Walmart was out of them when I went there and they, I had to buy some cheap one and I lost all the footage off of it because it corrupted the file somehow. So we're gonna go ahead and calibrate, not calibrate, format, there we go. Format this card and there we go. Now we're just gonna kick it to on. There we go. Back to collecting more awesome footage. Now that I got this all done, uh, what we're gonna do now is we are gonna go check on the turtle trap. Actually, it's gonna take a little while for the turtle to actually be dispatched. Uh, they don't hold still right away. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go to the shop, we're gonna dispatch the turtle, then we're gonna go check the turtle trap while we're waiting on him to bleed and all that good stuff. And then we'll go look at some footage from uh, having that camera over the turtle trap, which I think I think it's pretty cool. I hope you guys like it, but enough of me talking. We'll figure out how the whole video goes as we go along here. And then after I pulled in, literally, quite literally, the turtle was right here. Just like that. Hey, Grumpy, are you cold? Uh, it's been inside the shop for a while, so it's a little bit lethargic. Anyway. Uh, that is how the catch part went. It was super anticlimactic and I uh, ended up with a turtle. So let me go ahead and get this thing dispatched and then we'll go check the turtle trap. Well, I got the turtle dispatched. 
be careful guys. I mean, them being reptiles, you know, they can bite for like a long time afterwards. So uh, don't go sticking your finger in there because it does hurt. Not from personal experience, I'm just betting. Uh, okay, so we're here at the turtle trap where I had the camera, the good old wing home camera set up overlooking the trap. And we're gonna go down there and we're gonna check it again. The camera obviously isn't on this right now, but I got like 400 videos or something like that that I went through. And we're gonna play those um, a little bit before and after we check it. So you guys are gonna get into those videos now while I walk over and check the trap real quick. Hope you enjoy it. So, as you can tell, the turtles had plenty of interest in the trap. Um, apparently, though, I just went ahead and missed the actual them falling into it bit. But there was some more interesting parts um, that I want to show you after we check the trap, though. Now, I haven't baited it in like three or four days, so there was a frog. I'm going frogging tonight. I can tell already. But anyway, I haven't baited it in a while, so I'm not really hopeful. But, you know, you got to check it anyway. A big old bunch of nothing. Perfect. Uh, all right, I'm getting ready to butcher this turtle. I'm not sure how much of it I can show you guys. I'll show you guys as much as I can, but uh, give me a few minutes. Okay, so everything is done. Um, I was gonna try and show you some stuff, but there's no way that that was gonna be YouTube friendly. Um, reptiles move for a long time. Anyway, got it all cleaned out. I'm gonna see if I can clean this shell up. Uh, pretty shell. But what I wanna show you is, I got a bunch of meat, and it's more than what it looks, don't worry. But yeah, I don't think any of us are really surprised. But there was a lot of eggs inside there. A lot, a lot. Anyway, looks like we're gonna have to do something with that too. Um, well, actually, while I'm on my way to the house to get everything marinated and all that different stuff, um, we are going to jump over to some more of the trail cam footage over that bait pile and see, I mean, I'm pretty sure I saw some coyotes when I was flipping through when, you know, we were checking it out, show you guys the camera and everything. So we're going to play that footage. But before we do, make sure you guys go down there in the description and click on the link. Uh, there'll be a link to the wing home camera if you guys like what you guys see anyway. So, uh, yeah, let's get into that footage.
Okay, well, it is, it's a couple days later actually. I was gonna do this all last night, ran out of time. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get our cook on now. So, uh, what I have is we have our turtle meat. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put that in a bowl and I'm gonna use this as my marinade for it. That's the plan anyway. Uh, if you guys have access to this stuff, it covers up stuff in a hurry. You can use it on about anything. It'll literally make about anything taste good. So, uh, last time I had turtle, it was real tough. I know this has like a lot of soy sauce in it, and so I'm hoping that it'll help break down the meat. Um, takes about a half hour to marinate normally, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that going. Man, that's a lot. A lot, a lot. Gonna give it a good old drizzle. That should be about enough. Man, I love the way this stuff smells. Gonna just mix it up real good. It doesn't take a lot of the stuff. If you guys can get the low sodium Dale Steak seasoning, uh, that's probably better. It's pretty easy to get really, really salty in a hurry with this. And while that's marinating, I'm getting a pot of water going here. Um, we're making noodles today, in case you didn't figure that out. Uh, when you're making noodles, you gotta get hot water rolling. Add a little bit of salt to the water. You know, make it boil real good. There we go. So we got a handful of noodles here. Alright, we're gonna get the get the protein going here. Probably should have let that pan heat up just a touch longer. Alright, so noodles are gonna be done. A little too far. I always seem to wait on my noodles, so I start them way too early. It'll be okay though. All right, we're gonna get this stuff cooked up, and then we're gonna be adding broccoli and peas. Why just broccoli and peas? Because they sounded good. Normally, I add some other stuff. We are gonna add some Thai basil, which is oh so good. I know we're jumping around a lot, but hopefully this uh, turns out good. Well, our turtle is coming along pretty good. It's about finished there. I'm gonna. I'm not sure if turtle can carry anything. Disease wise, I'm really not in the mood to get sick. So uh, I'm gonna make sure that's cooked all the way through. Noodles are done though, they're just hanging out, waiting. Uh, we're gonna get this a little bit longer and then we're gonna add our veggies. Well, we are waiting on our veggies. Come out here and get some of this Thai basil. Mmm, good stuff, if you can find it anyway. I know you can buy it at most uh, Asian stores. I prefer to just grow my own, clip it. Freeze it, it's awesome. I'd say that's cooked long enough. Go ahead and add our Thai basil here. Add our broccoli and our peas. Now it's time to get some sauce going. Gonna add a little stir fry sauce here. Yeah. Rest of it. Add some soy sauce, of course. And we're going to add a little bit of sesame oil. Not too much. That can get real overpowering. Get this all mixed up. Find my lid. Let it set for a little while. Man, can't wait to eat already. Woo! Alright. That looks nice. Been in there for about, oh, I'd say five minutes or so. Gonna add our noodles to it. There we go. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot of noodles. Now my uh, my taste testers should be home anytime, so I'm excited to see what they think of all this. Got my got myself a bowl full here. The kids aren't gonna be home for another about 45 minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and you know I'm hungry, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat mine real quick, and then uh, you know when they get home we'll get their reaction. So. Let me get a little bit of, little bit of turtle here. That there is definitely off of a, one of the lighter pieces. I don't know if it's the neck or the back strap, but here we go. And it's still kind of, still kind of chewy. Not not like tough chewy, but how do I describe that? Not like chicken, how you know you bite into soft and it just gives. Uh, it's tender enough it's just kind of a uh, almost has a little bit of rubbery rubbery texture to it let me find another piece or two real quick obviously it wasn't bad uh, here.
I'm really not getting a whole lot of fishy notes. Pretty good. Like, that that's actually pretty tasty. I don't mind that at all. I'm happy there's a bunch. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and eat because, I mean, I am starving. Uh, but before the kids come home, I want to give a big shout out again to Wing Home. Thank you so much for making this uh, video possible. Uh, like I said before, the link will be in the description below. There is that 10% off code that you can, you know, use. And, uh, yeah, you guys need to go check them out at least. So, I'm going to go ahead and eat. And then when the kids get here, uh, we'll see what they think. All right, so you guys made it home now. But you guys already did. You guys already ate dinner, though, didn't you? Yeah. All right, but I want you to taste something and tell what you think, okay? Hey. All right. What is this? What are these? Hmm? What are these? Here, one person at a time. Right, right. Here, try it. I got one. Whoa. Oh, Riley. Oh. T bear, are you eating it too? What do you think, Ray Ray? Pretty tasty. Pretty tasty? Tastes like pork. Tastes like pork? Mm -hmm. Tastes like eggs. It tastes like eggs? Mm -hmm. You're crazy. What, is it good? I just mm -hmm. started. I thumb, two thumbs up because it was very good. Good. One I got. You give it two thumbs up? What do you think I'm it tastes like? More. Yeah, going back for seconds, huh? Yeah. Tastes like goose. Mm -hmm. Tastes like goose? You think it's goose? They like goose. I think goose, pork. Like what, what do you guys think it is? I think like goose. Um, I think like is, I is, goose is, or a duck. Is a, like a chicken. Tastes like chicken? Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. think that tastes like duck. Hmm? Tastes like duck, chicken, goose, pork. Goose and duck, whatever one. <laughs> Alright. You guys ready to know what it is? It's snapping turtle. <laughs> is it pretty good? Yeah? So you guys you guys don't mind snapping turtle then? You think it's pretty tasty? You guys can tell. I wasn't lying, it actually tastes pretty good. I was gonna do the eggs on this one. I'm running short on time to be honest, and I didn't have time to do the fun stuff I want. But I do have them set back um, for some other stuff. Hopefully that'll make it into a separate video. But anyway, big thanks to Wing Home again for sponsoring this video. Uh, also, can you say hit the like button? Hit the like button. Okay. Subscribe if you have it. And hit the thumbs up if you liked it. Mm-hmm. Will we see you on the next one? And we'll see you on the next one. Perfect.